So write down note values. How many beats do they get? So if we want to find out what this is, we go every good, and we know it's a G note. But we don't know how many beats we're going to hold it out for. So um, what we're going to think about is that it looks like a whole. So this is going to be called a whole note. This is still a G, and it looks like a hole, but now it has a stem, and that line is going to cut it in half. So this is our half note. Still a G note, because it's on that second line, every good. But now it's colored in, and it's colored in like a gumball. If you go to a gumball machine, you need a quarter to buy the bubble gum. So this is going to be called a quarter note. Next, this is still a G note. Every good. It's colored in like a gumball, but now it has a flag on it. You have to be about eight years old to be able to hang up a flag in the proper way for Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, and then you pull them back up again. And um, so we're going to call this one the eighth note. Still a G note. And if you have two flags, it's going to go twice as fast. And we'll talk about how many beats there in a minute. So twice the amount of eight is 16. And if you think about when you're 16, you can drive a car. It's going to go real fast. This is called our 16th note. So now we can have a note here, and that would be our F note, and we know that that's one B. We could have a note all the way up here, and then it's our C note, but it's going to be two beats. It's upside down, but it's still a C note, and it's still a half note, which is two beats. So now we can tell that the music's going to go up in pitch. But we don't have any place to stop and rest. So, now we're walking along the ground, and we fall into a hole. This square is below the line, so it's like a hole. This is going to be called our hole rest. Now we're walking along the ground, and we trip over, kind of looks like a hat, just sitting there on the ground. <coughs> it's going to be a half rest. Hat and half sound the same. So this square is sitting on top of the line. Now our gumball is smeared out on the sidewalk, but when we originally bought it, it cost a quarter. This is our quarter rest. This one looks like a number seven, but it's really an eighth rest. And then just like the eighth note and the sixteenth note, this one had one flag, this one had two. This one's going to have one line on the seven. This one's going to have two lines on the seven. So now we have an eighth rest. This one's going to be our sixteenth rest. Notice that there's something in common with all of these notes. They all have a circle. The rest, none of them have circles. So now you can at least distinguish between a note and a rest. Now we've got to figure out how many beats do they get. So we're going to think about money. In a whole dollar, how many quarters are there? There's four. So in a whole note, there's four beats of sound. In a whole rest, there's four beats of silence. So this whole note, you might be going, la, four beats of sound just went by. 
we made one sound, but it lasted four beats. But here on this rest, you're going to hear, and four beats of silence just went by. For a half note, we're going to think about a half dollar. How many quarters fit in a half dollar? Two. So in a half note, there's going to be two beats of sound, but in a half rest, two beats of silence. So now we've got a pattern going on. We have a whole dollar, which is four quarters, a whole note that's four beats of sound, and a whole rest, which is four beats of silence. Half dollar, two beats, uh, two quarters, half note, two beats of sound, half rest, two beats of silence. So in money, when we have one quarter, how many quarters go into a quarter? Just one. So we've got a quarter note that's one beat, and a quarter rest that's one beat of silence. If you notice, everything is going in half. So what's half of four? Two. What's half of two? One. So what's half of one? Don't say zero. It's a half. So we have a half a beat of sound on an eighth note. You might think, well, how, how do you make a half a beat of sound and not just one beat? A lot of times you're going to see eighth notes and they're connected together. Draw these on your page if you have not done so. These are called eighth notes. So then you have a half a beat of sound here and another half a beat of sound here, which equals one beat. And that's why you see them tied together a lot of times. This is a beam. Okay, so when, when you would count this out, you would say one and, and just two sounds went by when only one beat went by. Or you could say, with your ta's and tt's from elementary school, tt. And you just had two sounds go by and one beat. Okay, so that's why it's a half a beat of sound there. The rest is the same thing. It's a half a beat of silence. So a lot of times you're going to see an eighth rest followed by an eighth note, because then you'll have one and, and then it'll take up that whole beat. So what's half of a half? One-fourth. Okay, and I'll draw a pie for you. We have a half of a pie here. Half of a half is just one-fourth. So one-quarter of the pie. So this is one-fourth of a beat for the sixteenth note and one-fourth of a beat of silence for the sixteenth rest. So when we see sixteenth notes, a lot of the times we're going to see them with the beams to beam them together. And since it has two flags there, it's going to have two beams here, just like it has for the eighth note, one flag there and one beam there. Now we can go on and talk about dotted notes. Dotted notes have a special pattern to figure them out. First of all, this looks like a half note. This is called a dotted half note. We know that half notes get two beats, but adding a dot means you take half of what it is. So half of two is going to be one, and then we add that to what it already exists. So two plus one is going to equal three beats. If we have a quarter note, and it has a dot, we're going to call this a dotted quarter note. So, again we're going to use that same equation for the dot. A quarter note normally gets one beat. You take half of what it's worth, which is a half, and you add it together, which equals one and a half beat. And then we have, the last one is an eighth note with a dot, so we're going to call this one 
a dotted eighth note. And when you take the equation, you've got a half of a beat, and half of a half is a quarter. So if we look at a pi, we've got a half beat plus a quarter, which equals three quarters of a beat. So this one's going to be three quarters. That's it.